This is too early. It's too early. I <laughs> I'm on my way downstairs to get in a cab and go to Radio 4, I think it's Broadcasting House, um, to have a chat with some lovely people and talk about my book a little bit. If I can wake myself up a bit. Wow. Oh. Oh no. <sighs> yeah, yesterday was a very, very long day. I was up at half six to be picked up at 7.30, to be at Broadcasting House for 8.30. I was on to talk about my book, but the way that they conducted the interview was that they had the two presenters who were ridiculously lovely, and then they had all four guests, and we all sat around a table for the whole show, which was an hour and a half, we were there from 9 until 10.30. So that meant that we could all chip in on conversations and we could all talk to each other, and it was kind of just a very informal chat, it was really nice. One of the guests was Conchita Worst, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her last name right, so I apologise about that. Conchita won Euro Eurovision last year for Austria singing Rise Like a Phoenix and I don't think I've ever met anyone as inspirational, glamorous, beautiful, more tolerant or loving or peaceful than Conchita. I fell madly in love. I was just completely mesmerised. Best person ever award goes to Conchita first. You can still listen to that. It's on BBC iPlayer. I will link to that below. And then I had two shows to go to. I was doing the matinee and the evening show of Les Is. So it was just a very, very long day. And in the evening, the interview that I did with 1080 magazine came out, which I will also link to below. The interview that I did was like really chatty and just casual and like I felt really relaxed and really comfortable and so that meant that the interview was very sort of up close and personal and quite honest and um, so if you feel like reading that then the link is below feel free and the photos came out really nicely as well this time lapse that you're seeing now is the photo shoot that I did with Rebecca Need Manier and Tio who was filming today is Sunday it is my day off very very tired from a very long week. It wasn't even that I was doing a lot of stuff. I was doing a lot of stuff, but that's not what's made me tired. It's the fact that because of my book coming out, I've been like really nervous and excited and tense. So I'm sort of just emotionally drained after this week, which has made me more tired than if I, you know, run a marathon. Speaking of marathon, good luck to everyone who is running the marathon today. By the time I post this video, everyone will have already finished the marathon, but good luck. I hope you did well. I hope everyone raised lots of money for charity and or just achieved a personal sense of achievement and brilliance. Good luck, well done, you're great. I now have a fridge and I now have a washing machine and I now have a tumble dryer so I can actually get crap done. That's really nice. I can have milk in my tea and in my cereal without it turning to cheese the next day. Achievement unlocked. Also, before I go, Carrie's Book Club. Ah! So this month, April, was based on A Little In Love written by Susan Fletcher. No relation, but it's very weird because the book is about eponine. But next month, May, May is based on my book, All I Know Now. So everything in next month's box is to do with stories that are in All I Know Now or are just things that are to do with me that I really like. So there's tea in next month's box, of course, because I absolutely love tea. There's also a mug in next month's box. And there's also this lollipop marshmallow cake thing on a stick, which I haven't eaten yet. I haven't eaten mine, but it looks incredible. And then there's also this little thing that you put on a wall which serves as a hook, but it's a little wooden carved bear's head because of a certain story that is in the book. If you've read the book, you'll know what I'm talking about. So if you want to get those boxes, the link is below, so go check it out. Take my hand, I'll